Well, we're here in the top end of New Zealand. And I'll tell you what, with a backdrop like this, it's absolutely awesome. Now we're yeah. going <laughs> to... We're going to find a few cats along the way, a few very painful pussies that need to be squashed. But apart from that, what we're going to do... <coughs> Hello, I'm uh, Mick Lyons uh, from Strike Zone, and <laughs> I'm running the show. <laughs> we just pulled up on the uh, Valiant Wreck to catch uh, slimy mackerels. Alistair McGlashan was driving, and as per <laughs> usual, can't catch anything. He's That's got us true. on the wrong <laughs> spot. Oh, isn't it easy to do this bit? See, this is the difficult part, I think, Jack, of fishing, you know? You just sit here and go, come on, mate, hurry up, I need some photos. Anything now, I? Oh! Oh, oh got... cheap, mate. <laughs> Pity you missed the fish. I got camera shy. Quite funny. <laughs> For you it was. Can you catch a slimy? Oh, oh, you're going, oh fighting for you, Ron. You never have to wait for me, Al. <laughs> tell the truth. Tell the viewers at home. All right, Ron's who's, the best. Who's the one that catches oh, the best bait? All right, I'll admit it off camera, because I know that Ron would not put the camera on while I say things like that, that he does catch a little bit of bait. And he's actually a reasonable cameraman. Not a good one, a reasonable one. I still need to train him up a fair bit. Mm. Smart ass, look at you. <laughs> 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 you happy now? <laughs> Smart ass cameraman. I don't get paid enough for that. Mine's in the reef. Oh! oh. No, uh, spurs. Spurs. <laughs> uh, Don't laugh at me. Hey, you're on camera for that one. Oh, great, thank you. Yeah, uh, spurs. Hey, he's good at catching air. <laughs> All right, let's go again. Hey, now what we should actually mention, you know, it's late afternoon, it's everything. We have had four beautiful fish on camera, but we've only got three on the floor. Now, we might have to go to James to explain the actual situation here, but when you cut fish like you've got to bleed them, you've got to keep your hand on them. Because when you do it over the side of the boat, if they flick, you don't have four fish in the boat, you have three. James? <laughs> strike zone? It's, it's rated G, isn't it, strike zone? <laughs> I don't think we should listen to what he has to say. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> This is a bit I always get filmed and getting attacked. Get off the line. Oh! <laughs> That'll hurt too. Oh, yeah. Who is it? Ow! Where's his wig? Where's his wig? Oh, oh it's down here. So he won't, he won't get up. Like Give me that and I'll um, <laughs> just have a look at his wing there and just see how. Might have to cut it, I think. Cut his wing. It's alright, little mate. No, no, don't cut his wing, just cut the... No, no. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you want? F***ing hurt, it's trying to be nice to burn the f***ing biting me. Oh, Unappreciative little bastard. Story of your life, mate. <laughs> oh, God, that one's stunned too, eh? You try and be nice to these birds, but man, they hurt you. Look at him. Yeah, he's, he's just... Catch! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the bloody cuts and bloody horrible birds. Well, we're doing well. Two snapper, a kingfish, and a mutton bird. We're on fire. What's next? And you're killing me. Well, after that sensational start, and I must add that no one else has caught a fish except for me, and 
I mean, the skill is really starting to shine through there that, you know, that I pulled out when no others could, you know. Nick is still struggling. Beautiful. Dipper's just in awe. And Damo was just disappointed he missed out. But, so we've come out a bit wider in this lovely, dreadfully calm day because it never blows in New Zealand. And if I don't get blown off the back of the deck, we might catch a king or two, hopefully. Caught ourselves a couple of uh, lovely albacore. Elephant. Owls sound asleep up the front of the boat, typical. <laughs> We're all out cubing, ready to go. <laughs> I didn't do it, I'm fixing. Should we just should we just highlight? Ron just used this reel for just two seconds. He put the camera down, picked it up, and I'm already fixing it. He can deny it, but we've got the truth. We know the truth. Everybody put your hand up that said Ron did this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Where can we dip it? F it out. Oh, Jesus Christ! I got no support here. I can't even get this bloody thing in there done. Well, we've done a few hours trolling, and we've done well. We've caught a few albacore. Eloise got her first tuna. We'd like to have seen a few bluefin, but tomorrow's another day. But what we're going to do now is, with the sun setting, we're going to put a couple of hours in cubing and see if we can get it. Oh, no, don't. <laughs> No, no, that's really good. This is an example of a genuinely <laughs> shit house fisherman. Like, you just take one look at this bloke and you go, he should be a fishing guide. Seriously? He's trying to catch a lizard in New Zealand. Or a seagull, we're not sure which. Yeah, your barra's on the other side of the rock, mate. Stop filming it! I know boats. You know boats. Unfortunately, when you let Mick Lyons loosen your boat, he obviously he prepares your bait jigs just like this. You used to be a charter boat captain, weren't you? Know? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever catch him? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> so how was that, Mick? Well, it can only get better, mate. We can go up. We've been. Putting Burley in for about half an hour. We've got liveys down. We've got a couple of liveys under balloons. So any time now, we should get into some bigger snapper. And I'd say I'll be the one doing it because everyone else is just <laughs> around on the boat. <laughs> Never happened to me before. This is Mick's rod. I just borrowed it off him and look what he did to it. Just tangled it up. I think a charter boat skipper would be better than that, wouldn't you? Hey, turn that camera around and that's where the bottom issues are coming from. That dipper, the Shepherd and Special. And they're bloody good too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they feel good anyway. Yeah, I just do whatever you want. We're going around the boat now. We're going to have to go for a bit of a walk. I'll just tell them that we're just getting... Going off there, there's loads of underclothes. Oh! That was a huge. He jumped in the back of somebody. I saw it coming actually. I was like, whoa! Crikey. Oh, your casting's unreal, mate. <laughs> the wind was blowing the other way. You probably could get in there, hey, eh? Good. Oh, let's go. Come on. No, no, I said if the wind was blowing the oh. other way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Got him on straight. Oh. Little bugger, eh? Must be a few in there. Oh, you little bugger. That's uh, Al just dropped another one, I think. <laughs> I'm not even answering that. Easiest way to do that, just wind away from them.
Well, we're here in the North Island of New Zealand. <laughs> Stop me owie. <laughs> I'm surrounded by pussies, that's the problem. Just can't get anything out of any of them. Okay, come on guys, we need to do a serious one. Alright, we'll do a serious one. <laughs> 